Hello, and welcome to How to Make a Grading Routine, one-on-one. -on -one. If you follow these simple steps, you will be sure to pass with flying colors. First off, to make your routine seem very creative and original, start on the floor like so. Perhaps even wrap yourself in the silk. Yes. Good. Fluffing around in the beginning with the material makes it look like you put a lot of thought into your routine. Fluff. Fluffing. More fluffing. When you start to climb the sill, make sure you are very dramatic. Look at the silk longingly. Are you in love with the silk? Does the silk not love you back? We are not sure. Such drama. Wow. Drag out those climbs. This adds suspense. Definitely start with a big power move. The audience will never see it coming. Plus you will get tired later because you are unfit. Oh girl, you need to work on your straddles. Now we are going to. Oh my god. Straighten your damn legs. Try your best not to look like this is a lot of effort for you. So that you do not look like a sweaty, uncoordinated potato panning in the air. Can you make your footlocks look like magic, please? Those are shitty. Oh, you're going to do split rolls now? Okay, that is very original. Roll. 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 Do not forget about your facial expressions. Distract your audience with your dazzling smile. People must never know that circus really freaking hurts. Looking your hair around also looks like you know what you are doing. Oh my god, damn it, Emily, what are your toes doing? Do not come back to a climb after every move. Jane says she hates that. If you are not sure what to do in the air, wiggle your arms lots. So dramatic and no one will know your arms are actually on fire because your grip strength sucks. Now you must choose a very intense song to reflect that you are a struggling artist with very deep emotional issues you must express.